Well guys, it's finally arrived. Now this is an Airbus side stick. It should be a real one, hopefully, which means we can reverse engineer it, design it how it should be, and more importantly, get it to feel like the real unit. That's why I've bought a real one. And it's so much easier to get Airbus parts than it is to get 737. Airbus parts just appear to be everywhere. Funny thing is, this has come from the States, and now Airbus is pretty much predominantly European. Paid a fortune. It's been stuck in customs for over, well, nearly a month, which has really held things up. Had to pay a lot of tax. That's all sorted now. It's here, and it hasn't been opened. Let's get into it. Got my Stanley knife in front of me. So, down the sides. I best not cut the invoice up. Need that for my tax return. Oh, packing peanuts. Lovely. Okay, so straight away, we've got some broken bits. <laughs> in fact, a lot of broken bits that probably happened in transit. Not really an issue because we can 3D print all replacements anyway. What have we got around here? Right, see if we can get this off. Oh, that's broken. So there's only one screw holding this on. Looks like the bottom one is broken as well. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Lots of dust bunnies in here. Wow. It is a bit of an engineering marvel. Uh, you can't see yet, but let me just give you a quick look at the inside there. We've got the control rods here, quite a few electronics, some dampers. Oh wow. You, you can hear the dampers working into the unit there. Oh and pictures, you've got even more force. Just look at the amount of dirt in there. Okay. Feels lovely. Let's get this front panel off before it breaks even more and makes it even harder to replicate the panel in Fusion. So now we can take the side cover off. Ah, there's another damper there. Got a counterbalance weight here, very clever. And just standard springs here. It is very, very smooth. Great. Okay, so this damper is also is leaking a lot of fluid. It's quite a lot happening in here. Right, let me get you a close up, hey. Okay, so inside we've got the roll channel. This is this what's operating now. There we go. So if I bring you round. Okay, so for the roll channel, We've got this damper. Now, as I said, that's leaking. So, oh, it's still quite smooth though. 
So it does slow it down, the return. Here we've got our four, there's actually four tension, no they're not, there's three tension springs, two here and a big one at the back, and that sets how much pressure is acting on the stick. It's really quite cool. Round here, we've got the roll control rods, loads of adjustment on all the stops, left and right. And I think, yes, you probably could, you can make these springs much stronger by tightening the, the stops here. Now, I'm not gonna know where these control rods go. That'd be an interesting find to see where they actually go. Now for the pitch, is this a good place to, to record it? Yeah, I think so. Let's get you more on camera. So for the pitch, straight away, got a counterbalance weight here. Got two huge dampers. I mean, not only is there two compared to the one in the roll, two large dampers for the pitch lane, and it really does take a huge amount of force to push it fully nose down. What about nose up? Yeah. So the pitch lane is really stiff. Now where is it getting that tension from? Let's have a look. Got the counterbalance, ah, there's the damper. So actually I'm gonna guess that these two large units in the middle here are, they've got to, they've got to house springs inside them surely. Or are they dampers? No, I'm definitely gonna say that that's what sets the tension. So they set the tension and that sets the, the shock release. Just slows it down, the damper. Moving it round. Okay, we've got this unit down here, which says stick lock. And what would that do? Wow, <laughs> stick lock does exactly what it says on the tin. It locks the stick rigid. Didn't know that. Obviously this is all first for me. I've not seen any of this before. In here, just look at the dust bunnies hanging off all the controls. There is lots of electronics. There's a plug that shouldn't be there. That should be hanging down. So these are all the electronics to the unit. Okay, so most, we've got two lanes going up to the, the stick. That's these two here. Where does the rest go? Ah, oh, they go to obviously another unit that's attached at the low. Ah, so I'm gonna guess this connector goes onto the stick lock. Yeah. And then all these, it looks like, yeah. They do. So every single connector here is the quick release connector to the airframe. And they all connect down to this and all these DB21 or 25 pin. How many are there? There's probably more than that. But I'm never gonna see with my eyesight right now, but there you go. So they go in there, they feed. So I wonder what is based here. I have no idea what goes on the bottom. I'll have to research it. So I'll look on the internet to see what we can find that goes on the bottom here, just to give me a bigger picture. But that is a nice unit to look at. Engineering, wow, there's a lot of good engineering in there. Definitely something that we can reverse engineer and hopefully create on the 3D printer. I am gonna 3D print it. And once I measure this stick forces right now of how it feels, don't. It's dropped the panel, it's broken anyway. Uh, I should be able to find an alternative to make sure that when we reproduce it, the forces that I'm feeling right now are the exact forces that we can replicate. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the last panel off just so I can show you the far side, give you a quick look round, uh, and then put it to one side, because right now I'm making buttons, I'm still making buttons for about 15 days now, uh, and I've just had the okay to move into the new unit on the 1st of August. 
So in, in about half an hour after we've had dinner with the family, I'm gonna get in the car and go and look at the new place and see what needs to be done ready for the 1st of August. So let's take this last panel off. So here we go, looking inside straight away guys, let's get in there. Lots of dust bunnies. This is gonna be absolutely amazing to create on the 3D printer, I can see this already. So I'm just showing you around the whole area from this side. Let's turn you around. So this is the back side, back of the stick there. What have we got? There we go, I'm just trying to show you around. The stick lock at the, that's the stick lock at the bottom and it actually takes very little force to put it into lock position. That's it, that's all it takes. All that little movement is to lock the stick itself. Moving round. So we've got the electrical harness. This is the pitch damper. Then right at the front, we've got the roll mechanism, roll damper, and then back round to the dust bunnies on the far side. The stick itself is up here. It's in good condition. I would definitely say, I oh know it might, might be a very tough plastic. No, it's aluminium, aluminium, aluminium base, but with obviously a plastic coating. Uh, it is very dirty, which is natural. I think it's probably come, it's probably had a hard life. Guys, that's it for tonight. Just a quick update to show you what I've got. My new toy. This is going to be absolutely awesome to reverse engineer and 3D print. I can just see that, okay, I may have to toughen up some of the legs and it's not, the base isn't going to be the, the right size, but the top should be, the stick should be. This should be an amazing, uh, an amazing build. It really should. I'm not even new to Airbus. But when you've got engineering like this and being able to feel it in your hands and seeing how it operates and how it feels, uh, the strength, the forces, it's going to make an, an amazing build. I hope so anyway. I am going to have dinner with the family and then head off to the new unit uh, to see how we can progress there next week. Guys, good night from me. Catch you later. Carl out.